This video is going to get aggressive, and I don't want anyone getting their feelings hurt. So if you're sensitive, that's okay. I respect that. But if you want to respect yourself, you might not want to watch this video because it is going to be sassy. This video was not intended for people just getting started with their financial journey. I want those people to watch my other videos. It's a lot more friendly of a tone. This video is for people who have already persevered past that mental struggle of just getting started. This video is for the people who have already saved tens of thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars, and are in sight with their goals to one day retire early. And let, let's get started. GameStop to the moon, AMC to the moon, all our stocks to the moon, Dogecoin to the moon. That is not a stock though, doesn't matter to the moon. I feel like I'm JFK, cause I'm headed to the moon. You're gonna walk into a room one day and you're gonna be filled with the most loving people, they're all of your friends, and you're gonna realize that you have more money than all of them combined. And you're gonna start to feel guilty. Should, should I pay for that? Should I uh, do this? Ooh, what about our kids? Our kids, like, should I, how am I gonna talk to my kid about money when like, you know, I can get them any toy, but I choose not to, and yet, you know, the father over there is getting them every single toy that they wanted, but I know they're check to check. How am I gonna explain that to my child? So again, this video is more of a freestyle and I'm gonna be jumping around from topic to topic, but I feel like I've been sitting on these thoughts for so long and they're just not talked about. And of course, no one feels bad for the person who has hundreds of thousands of dollars in their bank account or their investment portfolio is probably not in their bank account because if you're building wealth, there's no way that you're just saving cash in your bank account. That, that That's no way to build wealth. That's a way to actually lend money to the government so they build wealth off of your wealth but anyways let, let's let's get back to the topic at hand you're building wealth and your friends are gonna be pissed off about it why because they're gonna look back at that moment when you started in 2015 or 2010 actually investing in the stock market when you knew nothing about it you did not wait to be proficient you just started and as you started you made mistakes along the way they teased you oh you invested three thousand dollars and it went to a thousand that sucks, like what are you doing? But you kept going every single month, no matter what, no matter what life threw at you, you just kept on going. And now you're sitting on a six figure portfolio while they're still living check to check, don't have a thousand dollars to their name, like 60% of people in the United States, and I'm not talking babies, like I'm not counting babies in this equation. 60% of people in the United States who are over the age of 18 cannot cover a $1,000 emergency, and they are living in the wealthiest nation on the planet with the largest disparity. And part of that di disparity is of course systemic, but this video is talking about you. It's talking about your power. We're not talking about how the government's holding you back because yes, it is. If you're a certain skin color, you know, the brighter, uh, the lighter the work you gotta do. That's not necessarily the universal truth, but it is true in many places. If you have an upbeat personality, right? If you're an extrovert rather than an introvert, you might also have a better time and people will be attracted to you and want to help you out. That does not mean that the introvert can't do it, um, but the system is slightly against people who are a little bit more reclined to themselves. Uh, same thing with race. We all know that conversation. We all know the conversation with gender. And I know we talk about women and men, but like people who are transgender are born just a little bit different, like 1% different is enough to like make their lives a financial nightmare. So again, I'm not shaming those people I have so many videos, there's probably one popping up right here where you can get started and it's a friendly tone. But this video is meant to encourage people who started the journey, maybe they're five years into it, 10 years into it, they see that moment in their life where they will be able to retire early and then they have to keep it quiet. They can't even celebrate their victory. They can't celebrate going against the grain. The system does not want you to retire at age 30, 40, or even 50, let alone 60. They want you working till you die. And I'm not about that life. And no one that I talk to wants that life. But only a select few choose to walk away from that life. Not everyone can. And that's horrible. And hopefully with all of our resources, all of us wealth builders, we will be able to change the world in a way where everyone who wants to 
can. We're not there yet. I do not believe that we are there yet. But with the inventions of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, uh, I don't want to say Bitcoin specifically, but cryptocurrency in general, we will have more people able to access wealth than ever before. The stock market has never been this accessible in its existence. You can literally take a dollar and put it in the top 500 companies. But of course, I'm preaching to the choir. I did want to put that in just in case some people who were not ready for this video decided to stick around and pursue this kind of hmm this is what I'm gonna be feeling in five years there's there's rage there's rage for sure because I see so many of my friends and and, and, and a lot of you guys who are watching this right now are my friends you did choose the path you did pay down your debt you did sit down with your wife and you counted not just the money that you're spending but the behaviors you're engaging in that are not increasing the quality of your life just passive everyday robotic movements you chose to recognize and respect your power something we are not taught to do and about this financial freedom journey, if you're watching this, you are in a rare, rare situation where your mind unlocked to the point where I want true freedom and you are pursuing it and you are chasing it and you're not letting people get in your way and you're not letting the system get in your way and you're not letting your loved people block you from what you want to do. My mom, every morning, she was like, Gosha, that's my Russian nickname, Gosha. What are you doing? She speaks Russian to me. What are you doing? You need to sell your stocks. Joe Biden's going to be president. Or you need to sell your stocks. Trump is going to be president. Or um, Bitcoin, you can't be buying cryptocurrency right now. It's going to crash. You have to ignore all the noise from the people who care about you most, who have the best intentions in mind, who are worried. You think about money way too much. Well, maybe the reason why I think about money way too much is so one day I will not have to, while most people will. And that's the difference between those who choose financial freedom, the journey towards financial freedom, and those who choose the journey for financial freedom. I just said the same thing twice, but let me explain. No matter what you're doing on this planet, if you're living in a capitalistic society or a society partially capitalistic, you are pursuing financial freedom. But you're either doing it for you or for someone else. There is no way to opt out unless you literally go off of the map, abandon everything, and start living off the land. Okay? Those are the only people who could say this video is not for me. It makes no sense. Uh, why is he so angry? I'm not angry. This is passion. This is passion and I want you to channel the passion that I'm throwing at you through this video so you could go home. If you're, you're probably home actually right now. I don't know why I assumed you're outside. Uh, anyways, so you could go into your minds and connect to your values. Most people are just shopping like nothing is happening. They're buying random things that make them happy for literally the two seconds it takes for them to put it into their shopping cart. Then they get home and they're like, oh, I have to unpack it from their shopping cart. Those people are rich and they do not realize it. My mom always talked about wealth. She always talked about, I want you to be rich. And, and I looked at her and I was like, I have shelter. I have three meals a day. I have a TV in my room. You have a TV in your room. We got a car. We are rich. We are the top 10%. And it is so sad how so many people are just living check to check while buying all these things that bring them no happiness. And then they complain about it. And then they have the audacity to judge people who are building wealth, who are choosing to pursue actual happiness. How are you going to be happy? What are you going to do on the weekends if you can't spend $40 on alcohol? What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go on a hike. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to clean. I'm going to find something. I'm going to create. I'm going to innovate. I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to consume. Okay? I'm going to create. And there's nothing wrong with conscious consumption and even a little bit unconscious consumption and indulging and just going with the flow. But if your whole life is you going with the flow, 
you're gonna get carried to the middle of the ocean and drown. And unless you, Jesus, you are not walking on that water. I want this passion to be in you right now. You are doing the right thing, and I want you to know you're doing the right thing. So keep doing the right thing, keep investing, keep growing your wealth, and take as many people as you can. This is the most important part, with you. Take them with you. It is never too late to start. My mom was 49 years old when she bought consciously her first stock. I said consciously because she did have a 401k, but she consciously bought her first stocks for the long run at age 49. She has not looked back since. She is so happy that she did that. And of course, she still like follows the crowd and she's like, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna buy. No, I'm gonna wait till the crash. Like she does all that. But you know what? She's leagues ahead of where she was doubting that it is possible to be financially free. My mom is retired and she doesn't even know it. I should make a whole video on her side hustle of how she turned her hated computer engineering job. She left it. Both of her parents passed away. That's why she left it to take care of them. And now she sells all these items on eBay, on even sometimes Amazon and other websites. And she makes 3000 4000 sometimes even $6,000 a month and pays for her lifestyle. She doesn't know what she's sitting on. She needs to make a course like I made a course about investing. By the way, leave a comment if you want to join my investing course. Uh, I, there's no coupon code right now if you're watching this. Well, now this video is no longer timeless because I timestamped it. Anyways, raw, uncut financialism coming at you. I hope this helped. Ignore the hate. And you know what? Let, let's embrace some of it. Let's embrace it and recognize that it has no power over us. So it's like, I'm, I'm not, this video was me not ignoring the hate. It's me embracing it, addressing it, and saying, okay, live your life. Don't go against the grain. Matter of fact, don't even go with the grain. You are the grain. And accept your place in society as grain. You feed everyone. But when are you going to get to eat? Bucks. Can't make that a day of work. Huh. I'm a lazy boy, all my money working for me. Chilling on the couch, what's on? Rick and Morty.